Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is a pretty neat exercise. Don't know that you would ever do this, but this might help you in another situation. Is using the shift key plus the tab key. I'm gonna get rid of these because the tab key selects everything. So I'm gonna shift key and tab and it selects the outside circle. Let's say I want every other line black. So I'd click on it again, let go and make it black. Click on it twice, let it go, make it black. I'm clicking on the shift and the tab key twice. I messed up there. I'm holding it down. So hold down the shift key and then tap the tab key twice. This way, I don't even have to take my eyes off the screen. I can see, and all I have to do, I don't have to move the mouse over here every time I have to select one. I don't know that you'd ever use that scenario, but let's just do this little exercise while we got it. Let's go to edit and find and replace and find objects of color. We're gonna find outlines that are RGB black. We're not gonna replace it, we're just gonna find, and look what it did. It found all our black circles. So you could eliminate our, um, what was I trying to say? Uh, take them out of there and make them um, separate than the other lines. Because these lines are so close together that you really, to use the pick tool to make every other line black, you'd have to pick it and then go over here and make it black. Pick it with your left finger, click right, check, to make it black. So the tab and the shift key, and there's a lot of uh, reasons you could have that. Uh, let's just make a duplicate of that, move it over. And let's say you had a bunch of boxes and I'm not even gonna say that this is the right scenario. And you've got a bunch of boxes and I've got my nudge factor set too high. But if you use the shift and if you use the tab key, it's going to run through there. Tab. Let me get the pick tool. Tab, 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 tab. And it actually does them opposite of the way you drew them. But if you use the shift and the tab key, it'll go in the opposite direction and you're selecting the item because you could select that item. Just hold down the tab key and let's say you want that one. And I'm not gonna say you're ever gonna use that scenario, but if there were a lot of objects that were close together and it'd be hard to pick, of course I've got plenty of videos on out there on how to pick items, but this is just another way of, of looking at things. I hope that helped a little bit, thank you.